Hello everyone today. My name is JY8559 and I am a support team member here on DeepBot and I am making a video on a two PC setup for DeepBot. Wondering how to run DeepBot on one computer, stream off of another. This video will show you how. First of all what you want to do is you want to get your computer set up for DeepBot. I do have DeepBot installed on this computer which is my streaming PC and on my secondary computer and I currently have it running on my second computer as for examples now first of all what you want to do is you want to find out uh, how to port forward on your router you may have to look up on Google how to do that but for me I am using a Netgear so I will show you how to do this using a Netgear router first of all what you want to do is you want to go to your uh, local IP 192.168.1.1 and it will bring up a prompt to log in depending on if you change your information it should be default if not log in with the information that you have changed it to then what you want to do is you want to go to advanced advanced setup port forwarding or port triggering and as you can tell I have already port forwarded DeepBot but I will show you how to do this first of all what you want to do you I'm going to click in and go in and edit the service now for this service as you can see I have three things connected to my internet the service name you can name it anything for me I named it DeepBot protocol will be TCP external port range will be 3337 and this is basically a port number and then you want to also you make sure you use the same port range for internal port now for the internal IP address you want to put the local IP of the PC that has DeepBot running on it or you intend to run DeepBot on and to find out your local IP for me I'm using Windows 10 so you want to click on your networking well right click open network and sharing and then I am connected via Ethernet so I will click on Ethernet details and as you can tell this PC the IP, local IP is 192.168.1.6 so because my other PC has a different address my other PC is dot four which has DeepBot running on it currently so that is the IP that I will use and so that way nothing accidentally gets changed I will click cancel but for you you will click save and then after saving you should be ready to go as far as that next wondering how to get follow sounds or host sounds or even donation sounds on your PC so that you know when someone follows and you want them to be able to hear a sound your viewers to hear this follow sound and notification sounds what you want to do is you want to first download a tool called DeepBot notifica remote notifications and here's the link I will put the link in the descript video description of this app then you will download it to your computer I already have it installed but there it is right there as you can tell remote sounds then I currently have it put in my streaming folder DeepBot alert sounds now as you can tell there's only a few things but for the new one let's see here where is it at right here DeepBot remote sounds that's the folder I named it you want to click on notification sounds exe and as you can tell Remote IP is the local IP of the host computer where DeepBot is hosted from. And once you do that, you want to make sure DeepBot is running. You click Connect. As you can tell, it connected up perfectly. Now, for this, for the sounds, as you can tell, there is Game Whisp integration into the notification sounds widget or uh, app. I've got my sounds already set up, but you set them up accordingly. Follow the sub sound is for Twitch partners, uh, donation sound, host, and then if you are using Game Wisp integration, you can check my earlier videos in the guides. Uh, Game Wisp. Now, 
for this I am going to minimize it to show you that it is working follow sound preview Who let the dog sound? <gasps> donation I believe I can fly. and game wisp new sub resub and there are five tiers so he did integrate five tiers and that is how you set up the two PC setup for DeepBot if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them in the forums also if you if this video was helpful for you please give it a like thank you and I will be doing a later video of how to do OBS remote check uh, watch for it later